Hey yo. It's Tuesday, uh, 12.24, <coughs> and we're all back at work. I'm still coughing from that bloody uh, Singel cream, that embalming cream. Anyway, uh, 12.24 and I'm off out again, meeting families. I've already done arrangements this morning. It's been absolutely manic, it's been non-stop. Uh, so I just thought I would catch up with you all and wish you all a very, very, very happy new year. Just give me a second. That's it. I think, hang on, no, it ain't. Mess about with this bloody thing. Right, so, technology, in it? Yeah, I'm off out meeting other families. It's been uh, busy up to now this morning. And then I've got to go down to my doctors uh, and get me medication stuff. So I'm getting me sertraline, which I have for my mental health, uh, depression, and then get me uh, metformin, diabetes tablets. I'll be able to use my free card today, I can't wait. Uh, be right good that, instead of having to pay a fortune for everything. But, it is what it is, isn't it? I hope you've all had a really, really good new year. We had a quiet new year, but we absolutely loved it. Sadly, we're busy with work, which it usually is, but uh, we had a nice, quiet Christmas and New Year, me and Cheryl. Uh, Dave Emingham's back in full swing, back at work, and he were having his dinner when I come out. He's always having his dinner, uh, so and getting warm, because it's bloody freezing. It says it's eight in Sheffield, but it don't feel eight. It's unreal how cold it is. Uh, I've just been to do an arrangement for a gentleman who doesn't even want a funeral. He just having he's told his family already. Uh, take me to the crematorium. Uh, that's it. So he's having the simplest service, uh, which each to their own. It you know, don't mean you're going to get in heaven any quicker if you have an awesome carriage and twenty limousines. It don't make no difference whatsoever. It's what you're comfortable with that matters. Uh, and the, I just think it's a nice thing that people make their own choices and their own wishes. But what you need to do is you need to tell your family, you need to tell them, listen, this is what I want. Because when that time comes, they might think, oh, did he really mean that? We better have a proper funeral for him. Uh, so, yeah. Make your wishes really clear and make them known. Bring an undertaker up and say, will you take my wishes? And keep them on file. And all you got to do is set up family. Uh, yeah, you know, just contact this undertaker. He'll, uh, he knows exactly what I want. Get two copies, because undertaker might say, oh, he wanted an awesome carriage and seven limousines for you all. So, I'm only kidding, they weren't, honestly. They weren't to look after you. Mind you, I know one that would over in the Sheffield, not a problem. Anyway, I'll not go over there. So, I hope you're all all right, and I hope you're all keeping very, very well. Uh, and I hope I don't see you, but I mean that in the nicest possible way. Anyway, I'm on Arbathorn, so I'm uh, almost at my arrangement. Oh, somebody's pipping and playing all over me. I only drive slow, see. I'm not known for speed. I was built for speed, but not when it comes to driving cars. It's too bloody risky, isn't it? Just, I'm going that way. That blows. I don't want to go that way. No, I don't. So, I better go, Anna. Thanks for subscribing to this channel and following an undertaker in Sheffield with mental health issues and and all that uh, thanks for taking time to watch this no i haven't really said much have it but i just wanted to touch base with everybody i'm just trying to find where i am i'm back here oh, never mind 
Right, I'll catch you all later. Have a good day. Look after your sons. Stay safe. And this should turn off any second.